West to Halmin Freon and welcome to it, another video and it's here my friends it's here we have been saying that all along the more and more information comes out and is confirmed concerning the rings of power or as I like to call it and you all know what I like to call it the upcoming atrocity by Amazon that is going to be released in September 2022 is getting more and more official now of course I I heard it when it was first uttered, uh, but I don't make videos based on other YouTubers' videos. I find it quite lazy when a YouTuber makes a video and they say, Oh, this Peru said, or Nerdrotic said, I don't care what other YouTubers said, I'm just like that. I'm old-fashioned, I'm waiting for an article, I'm waiting for a confirmation that is written. And uh, Bounding Into Comics has proved, so far, that their information are very reliable. Now, we've got New Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, rumor that claims to reveal plot details about the first episode. And of course, my friends, you have got a summary of the first episode that is about 80 to 90 percent original crap made up and constructed by Amazon. The issue, the problem I have with the Rings of Power, the major one. Let us dive in, my friends, if you haven't heard about it yet. So, as I said, New Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power rumor claims to reveal plot details about the first episode. A brand new rumor for Prime Video's upcoming The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power series has hit the internet and claims to reveal significant plot details for the show's first episode. The latest rumor comes from YouTuber and The Lord of the Rings fan Gary Buchler at Nerdrotic. After going over a number of superfan reactions who saw around 20 minutes of footage from the show and were privy to a Q&A with the Rings of Power showrunners, Buchler discusses the latest information he's obtained about the show. I have, my friends, already made videos about those newest superfans who were offered a trip to Oxford and also a package of uh, cheap merchandise. Uh, you are feel free, or feel free to check them out for yourselves. So we continue. He begins. I'm not going to spoil the whole plot of the first episode, but I'll tell you right now how the episode starts. You remember Peter Jackson's epic prologue prior to The Lord of the Rings that breaks down very succinctly what happens in the second age and hell. Even the prologue to The Hobbit is pretty good, and I have to admit, my friends, that it is. And he continues. And I'm not saying there isn't one here, but it's preceded by... And this is the very first scene. Galadriel getting bullied. Ho ho ho! Amazon, 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 Amazon. So predictable. That's right. Galadriel getting bullied. Buchla continues. Does that sound like Tolkien or modern bull peep? I'm not say saying elves weren't capable of bullying little girls. Even one that's going to be the most powerful of all of them. One that is royalty. Maybe it's her brothers, the ones that all end up dead prior to the second age. Although it looks either one is going to survive or we have yet another original character because Galadriel does indeed have a living brother. In the show, he means. Now, we know it couldn't be Finrod who died saving Beren, killing a werewolf with his bare hands and then he died in the dark. Well, that's Beren of Beren and Luthien, he asserts. In my own personal opinion, my friends, and the of opinion of many people as well, uh, the best and the greatest romantic story in the history of literature. Full stop. Forget Romeo and Juliet. Forget even uh, Aragorn and Arwen. Just read the story of Beren and Luthien. Absolutely a masterpiece. Buechler then says, Now this rumor has been out there since December of 2021. The Lord of the Rings rumor claims one of Galadriel's brothers plays a leader of a band of orcs. Now I'm not sure about that, but this brother is marked by Sauron. That rumor came from the Fellowship of Fans, and I'm here to confirm it, he declares. 
our girl Warrior Galadriel is indeed leading a hunting party for Sauron. Now we know already, my friends, that the Fellowship of Fans are working with or working for, whatever you want to call it, Amazon, so that leaks and rumors uh, now can be considered more reliable than they were before. And he continues. The other two characters that the show decides to focus on over Gil-galad, Celeborn, Celebrimbor, Círdan, the shipwright, or even Elrond the half-elven, who was called Herald Elrond in this, which is at least proper because he was the herald to Gil-galad. Well, that second character is Elanor or Nori Brandyfoot, uh, the female Bilbo and Frodo. That's right, an original character Buchler reveals. He adds, and the third character is going to focus on is another original character. Ar- uh, I'm sorry, Arondir, because my friends, I refuse to pronounce uh, the names of the original characters by Amazon in a way that Tolkien would pronounce them. No, I am going to pronounce them with a strong American accent because they are cheap American knockoffs of anything that Tolkien would invent. So, Arondir. Are EOC or Elf of Color. Now that made me chuckle. We will also get to see our HOCs or Hobbits of Color. Now, why in the hell would you tell everybody you're respecting Tolkien and start your very first episode by focusing on two original character I call Bull Beep? Now, and this is precisely why Gary from Nedrotic is uh, the only. YouTuber who also makes uh, Tolkien oriented videos that I watch. I-, I have said many times before that I don't watch Tolkien oriented YouTubers, it's just my thing. I mostly watch comic book uh, YouTubers and Comics Gate uh, guys on uh, the internet on YouTube. But I- if I watch somebody, I watch Gary here. He's a very respectful man, he knows his stuff, and he is funny. Uh, I appreciate his ability to mock, uh, you know, because I'm, I love to mock as well. I bet you know that about me, my dear friends. And here's our <laughs> EOC, uh, an elf of color here. Uh, never mind the fact that hobbits aren't part of the story, and wizards aren't even supposed to be in the second age. And I also, I always um, think of um, Clerks, uh, the, the film by Kevin Smith. I'm not even supposed to be here today. And I can't even believe I'm saying this. Have one of your legacy characters like Galadriel going after an original character or an original concept. It's sacrilege, he decries. Again, they close, they chose to use the word diverse in their very first statement. And the first three characters they chose to show in their trailer, the first three characters they chose to focus on in their first episode, he concluded the scoop portion of the video. So, my friends, that's all. What do you make up of this, uh, my dear friends? I think that... um, when Gary said that uh, his sources are reliable, and when he mentioned the Fellowship of Fans, I think that we can pretty much consider this quite official. I don't think Gary would say anything that's unconfirmed or unofficial, so we've been saying that all along, and uh, mainly I have been fighting against the original characters in- invented by Amazon, the original storylines invented by Amazon. I detest them even over uh, any changes or any tweaks that Amazon would make to uh, Tolkien's canon because it is a sacrilege to just steal the famous name of Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings, make your own not very high quality fantasy series and call it the Lord of the Rings is a sacrilege. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about uh, my friends uh, bullying Galadriel, making her a leader of uh, armies to uh, be a hunting party, and then focusing on EOCs and HOCs. I consider it, well, 
damnable. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.